Welcome back to Rio Pro Wrestling. Before we see our last championship match of this hour, let's meet our contenders, the number one seed, Joe Williams, and the number two seed, Joe Heskin. Joe Williams, 74 kilograms. This is my town, Chicago. I got started wrestling when I was about in uh, third grade. My parents kind of thought it would be something to keep me out of trouble. It was a pretty uh, devastating start now, but my parents just kept pushing me and, and I stayed with it. Double quarter pound with cheese, supersize it. Extra order of fries. That'll fill a brother up. Mickey D's double cheese. High five. Here, you want something to eat? You just fry it, you got a double quarter pounder with cheese and large fry. Sometimes you got to give to get. The Harvey Twisters program. We're about to sneak in on them. Quintory Harrell don't know that I'm coming. Hey, Joe Williams is here. Hey, clap it up, Joe. I set goals for Joe that I don't even know if Joe thought he could accomplish. Surprisingly, he accomplished each one of them. Twisters, man, what's up? If you don't like Chicago, you don't like life. Life equals Harvey Twisters. You put that all together, you've got me. Real pro wrestling at its finest. Joe Heskett, 74 kilos. I started wrestling when I was six years old. Joe got an interest in wrestling from a neighbor that lived by us. I grew up with my grandmother. My role with Joseph was to see that he was in a good program. She drove me all across the country when I was a kid to get the best matches. All our cars have over 100,000 miles on them. She's a hero in a lot of respects, and without her, I wouldn't be here or be the person I am today. This is the most pure sport that you can possibly imagine. You don't do it for fame. You do it for the absolute passion of competition. You know, you work too hard not to enjoy a chocolate craving every once in a while. In my case, a lot. How you doing? Hello. I had to take a packet of those turtles down there, please. The best. Chocolate, sun, beach, great wife, beautiful daughter, perfect. I would be a stalker if I could be a superhero. That's what I would be. I'd be this guy right here, fluorescent green, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's time to wrestle at 163 pounds. For the Iowa Stalkers, it's Joe Heskin. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from the Chicago Groove, Joe Williams. We're ready for Real Pro Wrestling's final at 163 pounds. And have a final for you. Number one seed, Joe Williams. Number two seed, Joe Heskett. What about that Joe Heskett? Wow, you know, they've wrestled a lot. He's been wrestling real good. He scrambles good. It's gonna be a great match, Tim. But he's never beaten Joe Williams, has he? What about Joe Williams? Right now, Joe Williams is one of the best wrestlers here at Real Pro Wrestling at 163 pounds. He has a blast double leg that'll throw you into next year. I don't know if Joe Heskett can defend it and stop Joe Williams' explosiveness, and I think that's what he's setting up right now. Well, I'll tell you what, this match is going to be tight. Both guys are calculating. I think Joe is more, Haskett is more of a defensive wrestler. Look at that! He's in! Whoa! Was that quick or what? That's two points for Joe Heskett. Can he finally overcome Joe Williams? That's, that's the question. And you know what, here at Real Pro Wrestling, we're giving opportunities for wrestlers to be great. Shake it off, shake it off, no problem. Watch Haskett here, he just pulls almost like a fireman's carry. He lets go of the arm and goes between his legs. Wow, great execution, great finish, start back on the feet. Joe Williams, a lot of times, isn't behind in matches, so he may have to open up here a little bit early. He's not used to that. That's right, he's gonna have to take some shots. But I'll tell you what, Joe Haskett is ready. He is ready, you can see it. They're wrestling good, they're calculating. They're calculating, but when they move, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be explosive. You know, right, Joe Williams right now is waiting and waiting. He has to go out there, he has to get on Joe Heskett's face. He has to let him know that Joe Williams is the man here tonight. The fans are into it, Joe on Joe, that's what we got. <laughs> Minute 35. Oh! Oh, great job. 
job on Heskett's part for not getting exposed there. Here we go, back to the review. Joe has a beautiful high crotch, comes in between, finishes it for the two-point takedown. And you know the explosiveness Joe Williams has. He wants to go for four to six points. And you hear the crowd. I mean, they're really behind the wrestlers. And that's one thing. This real pro wrestling, it gets everybody excited. I've never seen the wrestlers any more excited than they are. The fans, it's, it's something else, isn't it, Rulon? It's a whole new style of wrestling, a whole new thinking of wrestling. We're taking wrestling to the next level with real pro wrestling, creating an opportunity for these wrestlers to come out here and show their talent off to the United States of America and show that we are the biggest and the baddest wrestlers in the world. Well, and they're competing for money, and, and I'll tell you what, there's big money involved when you uh, win the championships. And you know what, Joe Williams with another great takedown, right to Joe uh, Heskett's side. He's trying to get the ankle lace to come in and get, get exposure for two points and take it to his back. Joe still has it locked up, ankle lace for two more points. Well, that's gonna be a stalemate right there. Neither guy can really advance his position, so he'll have to call it. And I just mentioned money a little bit. $250,000 purse, $250,000 purse. That's why these turns are important. Joe Williams. Here right he here. is, Joe Williams in with that ankle lace. A very good freestyle move, and he drives nice. Great action. Joe Williams is powerful. He's explosive. What a match. Six to two in favor of Williams, just like that. Great athletes putting it all on the line. Haskin is in on the single legs. If he can finish it, he's going to have to finish this one if he's going to stay in this match. Joe Williams is doing a smart thing there, grabbing the wrist, and so it's hard for him to advance up. But there he goes. He should drive into him. I think he's going to get it. He That's does. Two. two point takedown for Joe Haskett. 20 seconds left in the first period. And he's going to try a gut, but he doesn't get it done. Uh, they have an opportunity. They're going to allow him, Stacy will allow him, the referee, to get a turn either from an ankle lace or to a gut wrench or to a figure four of the leg to take him to his back exposed for Seven seconds in this period, and what a period. It has been intense. Great shots. And look at Joe. Joe is just like the old cat that knows. He's just sitting there waiting for his chance to explode and show everybody the power that he has. Joe on Joe, and we'll come back to see who settles the king of the Joes. It's six to four, Williams over Heskett. We'll be right back. And we're back for the second period of Joe Williams versus Joe Heskett. Wow, what a match it's been so far. It absolutely has. Joe Williams came out early. It's been an awesome opportunity for two wrestlers to be like cats one after another. It's great. I love the intensity. This match is going to be have great strategy, great explosive. Yes, Just yes, like that, Joe yes, Williams is on the shot. Yes, great counter run. Has it? Wow. No points yet. 6 4. Joe Williams up. Joe Williams would have, try, have to try to cross lift here, but they went to a stairway. Up. Silly. Up. Relax. And these guys are like cats. One takes a shot, the other gets his leg back, then he shoots in, then he takes his leg back. This is great wrestling. Can you believe there were no points there? <laughs> you, you look at them, both of them were a little bit slow to get up because you know what, they waste all their energy in these shots. As soon as the referee blows the whistle, they know that they can go a slower pace, but as soon as the ref blows the whistle, they're ready to go again. Haskins is doing a good thing. I think he really needs to fake, keep faking, get Joe Williams off balance, and then look for that shot. What a great opportunity for us to show off this beautiful sport of wrestling here to the masses here tonight at the championship of real pro wrestling. To be able to be possible, a national champion here on national TV at 163 pounds, Joe Williams in the lead, six to four. We talked earlier about Nebraska for Rulon. You're an old Iowa Stater, and uh, Joe Heskett representing Iowa State, going up against an Iowa wrestler, NCAA champion three times, Joe Williams. That's a hot rivalry, isn't it? Iowa State and Iowa. It is, I, I tell you. It's been, uh, you know, when I wrestled at Iowa State, we had some great matches, and man, what a rivalry it is. And here you go, having some of the best wrestlers in the country here on Real Pro Wrestling representing those universities. And it, it's been a while since they've been at those universities, but they don't forget the rivalry. No, they don't. Here, here Joe Williams is up to the edge of the mat. He knew where he was at. He just slowly pushed back in. Now he's got a front headlock position, trying to get behind for the ankle pit. Trying to get the finish, trying to get the finish. No points. Oh, he should have given continuation, let him score. Yeah. They called a one point. Okay, one 
point, that's really a break for Joe Heskett. That really was, because he was going to either his down for a two-point takedown or to his side for fear near fall. That was a nice ankle pick. He had a front headlock adjusted to an ankle pick, and then great fight, and then he got off balance, and Joe really kind of took him toward the edge there. But what they should have done is let him get continuation, because he was taking him down for the takedown there. But the referee, Stacy called it, back up to your feet. You on him. It was really a dodge the bullet control. because not only a takedown, but it could have turned in for a two, uh, turn as well for Joe Williams. So new life for Heskett there, just giving up one point. He's down seven to four with a minute eight down. They just called him for the bonus uh, period where he was passive. He did not dominate the control the middle of the match. Now, right now, Joe Heskett has an opportunity to put him down. He has to use Greco technique. No legs can be used against your offensive opponent. So he can't hook, trip, or hold the leg right now. Joe Haskett's gonna go with reverse body lift, and he's gonna try to pick him up and throw him. The only way you can score is a four-point throw. The question for us, can he? Do you think he can? You know what, if he had a Greco experience younger as a child, I think he can use that experience. If not, he's just hoping and praying he can do. If he can, he gets four points. If not, no points will be scored. Nate's just shaking his head saying, no way. Here we go, here's the chance. That's what you want in life, is a chance to be a champion. Right now, they're fighting for that. Joe Haskett trying to get him up. Joe Williams trying to defend him. Great wrestling, great technique, and Greco-Roman wrestling. Joe Haskett couldn't get it, back to the feet. And they go back to the feet. The bonus time's over, Greco time's over. It's back to real pro wrestling rules. More like the freestyle, collegiate style. You can attack the legs. Attack him! Hey, expect to see some action here in this last 43 seconds. Joe Heskett is the aggressor, but right now Joe Williams has a three-point lead. He has to do nothing. He can sit back like an old cat and just wait for the opportunity. He wants to go for dinner. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to wait, counter, and then try to strike. So pretty much it's a tough one. You know, and I don't see Joe taking too many shots. Joe Williams right now. Joe Heskett taking all the shots, but right now Joe Williams is in control with 20 seconds left. I should call him for stalling. Hey, I'll tell you what, Joe Williams does a great job right in there, not letting you in, doesn't he? <laughs> it's just tough. You know, Joe Haskett's doing everything he can right now, but I think Joe Williams has too big an advantage. That's it, time is up. And Joe Williams is gonna win a national title. Real Pro Wrestling, 163 pound national titleist, Joe Williams for the Chicago Groove. Joe, Joe Haskett gets second. He says, hey, it was a great battle. There you have it. Joe Williams, your RPW national titleist. The favorite, Joe Williams, holds on for a 7-4 victory over Joe Heskett. Joe Williams. Uh, Heskett scored a couple points, so that made me uh, really open up and have to uh, force my scoring positions and uh, just continue to wrestle the entire match. Olympian Joe Williams is unbeatable. The three-point Chicago victory prevents the Iowa Stalkers from extending their lead even more. What a great hour of wrestling. And there's more Real Pro Wrestling Championships in our next...